Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday and it's cold. I don't like being cold. I like warm weather. Come on, son. You can do it. Good morning, Ryan. How you feeling? You sleep well? Yeah, I did sleep pretty well. The mosquitoes found us, so we're hanging out in the tent eating breakfast. The breakfast of champions. So we have these RV neighbors that pulled in at midnight last night, and you know, we didn't know who they were, and then all of a sudden his head pops out, this guy Matt, he's like, hey, do you want a hot shower? <laughs> and we said, no, we don't need a hot shower. But then he's like, we got porridge. And I was like, okay, we'll do the porridge for sure. So thank you guys. This is awesome. Pleasure. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a good photo of Ali's pretty face. <laughs> Take a photo. Hold it up. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what kind of love advice would you would you share with Anyone? with us, your new friends? Yep. Be very patient. Yeah. Very, very patient. Yeah. Um, it's easier to bite your tongue and then wait until the right time to say something. How did things change when there was a third brought in? Everything's slower. Yeah. Everything's a lot slower. Um, uh, We've still continued to do things. I think Mike, when I married him, I knew adventures would be in his life forever. So you've still done your canyoning. It's part of the contract. Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've continued to do those things and I've I still like when he goes into this adventure, I tend to just catch up with friends. Ellie wants a drink. Drink. What do you think about America? How's this trip treating you? How do you find uh, a small town America? Oh, it's un unbelievable. Like, you have the most amazing country. Like, you really, really do. Yeah. Like, We've been really impressed. Like, the, um, the landscape has been far better than we imagined, and the people have been really friendly. And you don't meet that many American people around the world. Like, I, I haven't, mm. I don't know many American people. So, mm. it's been really nice to chat to people and get to know them and yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. To, to especially after the, because of outside of the US we just get like the press mm. you know so we you don't get any idea and like but somebody said to me once like you have to remember that America's the same size as Europe and you, you mm. combine how many diverse like people are there in Europe you know Norway down to like Greece and then we're like okay so that's the same in the US so when we got here like like we've gone to New York and then New, mm. New Orleans, like the difference is just so crazy. Like, bye, here I'll give you a hug. Bye, bye, bye Ellie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. cute. All right, no crashies, no whammies, no flatties, no bears. We are rolling into the town of Dubois, Dubois, however you say it. It's supposed to be a cute little cowboy town. I'd never heard of it before this trip, but uh, here we go. Well, we were stopping for some groceries in Du Bois, and we ran into Rob in the grocery store. Or you actually saw us bike by, he right? He stopped you. I stopped them. <laughs> <laughs> Driving down the road, I noticed the white, uh, the white arms, and then it's like slam on the brakes, turn around. Sarah's like, why? <laughs> that is so. I cool. know those people, sort of. Well, we are very happy that you said hello. This is such an awesome moment to actually see people who watch our videos. <laughs> okay, now to the important stuff. Love advice. Love advice. You know, I think a lot of it's just luck, actually. So for the two of us, like we have similar interests and uh, love to do things together. And we've been married 13 years, five days ago. Yeah, together 16 years, right? It, you know, the, the, the difficult thing to tell you is for us, it's pretty easy. It's not that typical like, oh, it's a lot of work and there's struggles and that. It's, like, well, it's been pretty easy. So enjoy each other and have fun together and uh, bike. How freaking cool was that moment? <laughs> We're just walking through the grocery store. This guy's like, don't you guys want ice cream? I'm like, uh, <laughs> how does he know we want ice cream? <laughs> oh, you knew him at I didn't know him, like, yeah. I'm from Phoenix. And I'm he's from, from uh, Denver. Denver. Oh, cool, so and how did you meet? In New York City at yeah. a journalism camp. And we're like, well, we have to fit in. So like she gave me her belt, her cowboy <laughs> belt, and it says Jillian. And like, <laughs> I've got my like fake Zara cowboy hat and like, yeah. yeah we have like our own language and we have like our, <laughs> our own religion. <laughs> What's and, the best way to, to show somebody that you love them? Hmm. For us, like, uh, there's a theory of love languages. Yeah. And there's yeah. five different ones. There's like, Quality time, gifts, 
um, words of affirmation, physical touch, physical, physical touch. Yeah. but for us it's more like quality time. And you have your own language, so yeah. in, can I ask what, what yeah. you would call it in your we language? We call it a Vincona ship. Vincona ship. Because Vincona means friend in Icelandic. And so um, it's sort of, it's, I don't even know how to describe it. It means like feminine friend, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. But we've like created a new meaning for just like, ro like life partner. Life partner. You know, I've never been to this part of Wyoming and it looks a lot like Utah. And Utah, the Canyonlands area is one of my favorite landscapes in the world and this is just bringing me right back to that area. We have left the nice and cool alpine world and it's hot now. It's like high desert where we are, still 6,000 feet, but it is warm. It's definitely the warmest day so far. We are not in the land of campsites every 10 to 15 miles anymore. We're kind of middle of nowhere, Wyoming, and we rolled up on this rest stop and talked to the woman caretaker, Jennifer, and she said, yeah, you can totally camp here if you want. No problem, just watch out because the sprinklers come on at nighttime. <laughs> so here we are, we're gonna sit and chill. We've ridden 60 miles. It's Saturday night. Time to, time to party. What'd you find, Ryan? We're a little weak on bodies of water near this rest stop, so we're about a half a mile away, and we found this canal, I'm gonna call it. But uh, it's water, and it's wet, and it's 93 degrees out today, so I'm gonna swim in it. I don't care. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's not glamorous, but... Uh, Doing the job. Definitely cooling me off. Are you getting cleaner, do you think? I do think I'm getting cleaner. Moderately so, at least? <sighs> yeah, this water's not dirty. Jump in. Allie's going in the canal. Yeah. It's like the lazy river in Waterworld. Oh, yeah, just like it. So, what my sister sent me was a message of 20 words. No. 10 words, 20 letters, that said, if it is to be, it is up to me. And that's the, the advice I followed. I like that. And so I'm kind of an activist in uh, uh, about climate change, and I helped to recover wolves in Yellowstone to place them there. And uh, so I'm kind of a greenie. What's the key to a long-lasting relationship? Do things together. Uh, Cross-country ski together. And... Uh, hike together. Hike together, yeah. That's what we're going to go do in the medicine boats is uh, to hike. The, the only thing that makes, it, makes us able to do what we can do today is that we just keep at it. Every other day, we're usually out hiking. This is how life works. You just put yourself in the right spot and you meet great people. There so, you go. Thank you so much. Okay. It was wonderful thank to you. meet you. And you so are Allie. Allie. One of the dangers of camping in nice green grass is that there are sprinklers that come up and the grounds guy just said, the sprinklers turn on at eight, get a bunch of rocks and put them on top of the sprinklers. But in the morning, remember to move the rocks. I just hope that we didn't put our tent on top of a little sprinkler head. I don't think we have, but they're really small and hard to find. What's for dinner tonight? Oh, I bet you can guess. Beans. Beans. But this one has avocado. That's pretty, that's this, pretty deluxe. Yeah, this is a fancy bean burrito. This is actually a very cozy place to have dinner. We have a picnic table. We have plenty of food. We have bathrooms nearby. We have water. We have a beautiful sunset. Yeah. This is great. Oh crap, the sprinkler's right next to our tent! Allie! <laughs> oh, we've just been scrambling around stomping on sprinklers. This one's gonna go off next and there has to be another one down there and over here that we just have not found yet. So I think we should find them. We need more rocks. Oh yeah, look at you made a little care in stopping that one. Oh boy, adventures in bike touring! Ah! 
This is kind of ridiculous. This is how we're spending our Saturday night. Finding big enough rock to stamp out the sprinklers. Turns out our plan didn't work. The water is just all under where the tent was. <laughs> uh, we retreated. Sprinklers one, humans zero. Good morning, it's Sunday, happy Sunday. Ah. So this was a great place to sleep last night, except this super duper tanker pulled up at like 10.30 and it's been idling its engine ever since. It's so loud. It would, would have been nice and quiet here if it weren't for that guy. But hey, we got to camp here for free. So you can't complain. Good morning. Time to ride bikes. <laughs> How's your breakfast crepe? Hmm, it's delicious. Here we have huckleberry honey from Idaho. Mm, Nutella, also from Idaho, and peanut butter, probably not from Idaho. But this is a really classic and limited edition combination. No flatties. No whammies. No crashies. Allie has found new flowers on the side of the road. Looking good. I'm wearing my Sunday best. Isn't looks that good? Looks good there. Like the other side looks great. All right. It is a freaking beautiful Sunday morning. Nice and warm. We're on a quiet road. Big shoulder. Smooth pavement. Allie's got flowers in her hair. Yeah. It's going to be a good day. Happy Sunday. You know, it's the little things in life that make you happy on a bike tour, like a smooth, flat piece of road with nice, just silky smooth asphalt. You don't think about these things in day-to-day -day life, but when you're on a bike tour, yeah, it makes a big difference. What is all this green stuff? Beet, Beet greens, beans. cilantro, and garlic. Yeah, Matt and I were talking about tomatoes and he mentioned he had 100 pounds. Beet greens. I them, yeah. <laughs> and nobody wanted them. I was like, well, beet greens are my favorite. <laughs> so here we have some. Oh. You're going, it's light. <laughs> it's nice and light, yeah. <laughs> Look at all this health food. This is way better than ice cream and That's Nutella. Great. This is the best gas station food that we've gotten so far. Stop back next time you're through. Oh man, we will for sure. That Matt guy back in Kinnear was one of the sweetest humans I've met in a long time. Allie's in the store talking to him and he's like, you want some beet greens? And then we sit there talking to him for a while. He's telling us about his dogs and how he tries to sell really healthy food to the restaurants around here and the farmer's markets, but nobody will buy them because they want to buy the cheap stuff. And wow, fascinating. I'm so glad we met him. We have a cartoon theater. We've never heard one of, of one of those. This town has like three businesses, a gas station, pizza place, and a cartoon theater. What do you think a cartoon theater is? I have no idea. There's only one way to find out, and that's to push this button. Do it. is fascinating. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into at all. From the outside, it just looks like an old warehouse. It's a house of wonder. It feels like you, we've walked into somebody's dream and it they've does. just you know, spent years gathering this stuff, collecting it, and then creating this. This facility was built in 1906 by C.H. King, who is the original grandfather of our own president, Ford. 
This was originally a warehouse for the stores or supplies of a lumber store and wool facility that brought in traffic in and out for the railroad. The owner of this facility and my boss is an artist. He has uh, been tattooing for over 15 years. Every single tattoo that you will see in this facility, he has done on a person from coast to coast. He has collected a lot of these things from yard sales and auctions that he has attended. I absolutely love places like this. Ever since I watched Pee Wee's Big Adventure when I was a little kid, I wanted to have a house with all sorts of weird trinkets and fun stuff. And this is essentially that. Somebody made it come true. Look at this. Come in, my darling. Let's go come watch in. a cartoon. <laughs> weird, it's a little spooky, you wonder why this place exists in a teeny, teeny town in Wyoming and you're just like, you're like, I love humans. I love that a human thought of this idea and made it happen in the middle of nowhere. This is like some Blair Witch stuff going on here. Look at this. This basement is super weird. It's nice and cold and musty and there's a cartoon playing and... Yeah, where are we is essentially the question. <laughs> now he's going in to the brain scrambler. Dun, 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 dun. What's the ultimate goal with this place? Uh, he wants to turn it into an animation studio and theater, something that in some states, yeah, they have something similar to or something just like it, but not in this area. I am a fan of the bathroom here. This guy has some style. Oh, I feel like this is second stepping back into like my high school girlfriend's um, their bedrooms like would be plastered. Their walls are plastered like this. Bye guys, have a good one. Be careful. Oh, that door's heavy. Whoa. Whoa, where did we just go? Where did we just go? Now we're back on the streets of Shoshone. There's nothing in this town, like nothing in this town. Just to give you an idea of Shoshone really quick, this is pretty much all of Shoshone. And most of the businesses are all boarded up and there's just not much going on here. And today it's like 100 degrees, there's nobody on the streets. And then there's this house of wonder. Ah, oh, yes, I'm so glad we came here.